Alrighty guys, back again with a new video here. I want to talk about the worst possible tank mates for convict cichlids. Now, quick disclaimer, we're going to disregard completely obvious answers to this question such as a horse, a cow, a dog, a cat, a bear, a shark, a giraffe, alligator, python, the list goes on, but we're being reasonable with fish you can buy at a pet store on average. So, I'm, I'm going to do sort of a top three, maybe four worst convict cichlid tank mates, but the thing that I want you guys to stick around for is the surprising worst tank mates for these guys. So, the first one that I wouldn't suggest is any form of snail. Now, convict cichlids alone, I've housed successfully with snails, um, especially as fry who have grown up with the snails already in the tank. However, if you keep a community tank where they're mixed with like Africans and other species of fish, the other African cichlids will actually eat the snails and the convict cichlids will pick up that habit because I've seen it happen before. So I would avoid in a community tank where you have a bunch of fish and especially different species of fish, I would avoid putting any form of snails with these guys regardless of what kind. So the next species I would avoid would possibly be any form of mixed breed convict such as a polar blue parrot who i actually have in there in that tank he's swimming towards the bottom right now so you can't see him he's pretty beaten up and matter of fact i'm going to show you guys that's the other convicts that's not the bigger african cichlids doing that to him i've seen it it's the other convicts so any sort of mixed breed convict cichlid type I would really suggest avoiding. He's a gorgeous fish, but shouldn't have put him in there, but he's kind of stuck now. So the thing about convicts is they're relatively docile until breeding time. And we all know if you've seen any of my videos or ever looked up videos about convicts, they breed like crazy. Always trying to have babies. Always, it never fails. That one right there, she's already ready for breeding. I know that by the orange patterns on her belly. But anyway, they can be super aggressive during that time and you really need to have them in a community if you're gonna have um, multiple male female convicts or just separate a breeding pair um i would either suggest all males or all females unfortunately i didn't realize that was a female so we do have some convict aggression in this tank as you see the other species of fish in here are relatively calm right now and the main culprits of all this aggression are these convicts but that's just because that female's ready for breeding, basically. They also can interbreed with Jack Dempsey's, which are these darker fish here. So you have to be careful of that. So here's the thing, worst tank mate, hands down from my experience, is honestly other convicts during breeding time or just in general, like, I've had convicts with extremely docile fish before. I've even had them with the goldfish. Yes, the goldfish got along perfect. It just seems that their aggression is always towards each other. It's never towards the other species I have in here. Even the other species that were once smaller than these convicts they are super aggressive to each other. It's like they just can't resist fighting. 
you know, of course it's nothing major, you know, they're not lip blocking, but there's always that chasing, that super territorial fighting over the female in here. So, really would suggest against keeping a bunch of these guys together without some other species or without having so many of them that they can kind of distract that aggression, if that makes sense. So always keep that in mind um, when you're housing these guys, that they can be quite brutal towards each other, especially if you slip up and put a female in there and not even realize it. Anyways, like, subscribe, share with your people. Thank you. Stay fishy.